Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amelia and this is Amelia Budgets and thank you so much for tuning in. Here on my YouTube channel, I post a variety of different budgeting related videos, usually three times a week. So if that is content that you're interested in, I would love it if you would subscribe. So today I am doing my weekly spending check-in for the first week of my no spend. So this is the first week of January. So technically this is not January. <laughs> it started on December the 30th. And the reason why I did it that way was because I got paid three times in the month of December. So the third paycheck that I received in December, I am counting as my first paycheck in January. So that first paycheck has to keep me not not in negatives <laughs> from the 30th of December up until um, January the 12th. And then the actual first paycheck I receive in January, I'm counting that as my second paycheck budget for January. I hope that made sense. And I hope that wasn't like super, super long winded, but yeah. So anyways, I do these weekly spending check-in videos every week. Um, I try to keep myself accountable for my spending, but um, honestly, I do not have a ton of transactions this week, which is a really good thing because I am trying to do a low spend for January. So basically when I set up my January budget, I kind of let people kind of guide me I guess about what I should do between like just doing like the normal like slow and steady approach or like trying to go a little bit like more strict with myself just for the first month so that ideally I will be able to pay off my first personal loan which is $1,500. So I check in for four variable expense categories groceries dining out gas and miscellaneous I'm not a cash budgeter. I use my debit card. So I'm going to write down my transactions on the next page with you all because honestly, I don't have very many of them. <laughs> and back in the day, like if you've watched my videos from back in like 20, early 2021, I used to always write down these transactions like live, but then I stopped doing that because I started to have more transactions. And I did ask you guys like at the time, like, do you guys want me to write them out or you don't want me to write them out beforehand and just go through them? And it was kind of split, but I just never wrote them out with you guys again because I just always had so many transactions that I just like couldn't do it live. So yeah, now I am able to do it live and because I have so few transactions this week. So the first thing that I have during this time was on January the 2nd. So I didn't actually go out for New Year's. Technically that New Year's spending would have been part of like my fixed expenses, but I didn't go out for New Year's. Um, I wasn't feeling well and I didn't want to get like anyone sick or anything. So I just stayed home. But on January the 1st, uh, sorry, on January the 2nd, I did actually stop and get gas. So I struggled. I don't, I don't want to say I struggled, but last year gas really threw me because I wasn't getting gas regularly because I wasn't driving very much. So trying to budget accurately for gas was hard. <laughs> so if you remember for this budget, I had budgeted myself $20 for this paycheck for gas and I budgeted myself $40 for the entire month. And I wanted to try basically every week that if I could, I wanted to put $10 worth of gas into my car. Technically, I didn't get to the full $10, but I'm rounding here for these purposes. So I did actually was able to put $10 towards gas for the month. Also on the second, even though I like technically didn't need to do this because I still haven't gone to Starbucks, in the dining out category for Starbucks, I did reload my Starbucks gift card and I reloaded it with $15. So again, that was just basically in preparation because I was planning this past week to actually go to Starbucks. Again, I haven't actually gone, so I still have that $15 on my Starbucks card, but I have it in case I want it, and I just kind of wanted to get that sort of spending out of the way, I guess, so that like going into the rest of the month, I was like, okay, I know what I can spend. I can buy myself gas, and I can go to the grocery store, and then once a week, I'm allowed to go to Starbucks, even though technically I haven't yet gone to Starbucks, and I didn't go to Starbucks during this week. And then finally... The transaction that I have, which is the largest, was on the 1st. And this was on January the 3rd. And this was in the groceries category. And I did go to the grocery store. I did stop by Fresh Co. And I ended up spending, let me grab my receipt, $50.26, which was very disappointing. And I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see this bill. And I just like, I folded it here so that you guys don't see the location of the Fresh Co that I'm going to. But I did not buy very much. So I got like chickpeas, crackers, carrots. I got some cucumber. I got sweetener for like my tea. I got four Honeycrisp apples. I got had to get mayonnaise. I got the caffeine-free Diet Coke, but like the like 
generic version. Um, a 12, 12 cans of that. I got my thing self some strawberries. I had to get milk. Um, I got some Greek yogurt and then I got some pepperettes and that was $50 and 26 cents. And that was it. And I was very upset almost when it came to that because I was trying not to buy a lot of food that week because this for the second week my mom is actually supposed to go to Costco for me and pick me up like meat and stuff so like I hopefully she was able to get me like one maybe two salmons and then like a package of chicken and like that alone is going to be like probably a hundred dollars so I was trying to spend less money this week on groceries so that I would have that money to like cover that like overspend in terms of like meat so what's realistically going to happen is in the like second or sorry the first paycheck of January I'm very realistically going to have to go going to be over when it comes to groceries but that is why I'm trying to build up my buffer because ultimately like I know that I don't have like a ton of money when it comes to this sort of stuff um when I'm trying to do a budget and when I have to do a restock but hopefully when the entire month like closes out I'll be able to make that all work so I'm going to flip back to the other page and I'll go over my totals and just like see how much I have left for the rest of the month and honestly this isn't going to be super exciting because I don't even need to use a calculator for this because I know that was 15 50 26 I know I loaded my Starbucks gift card with um, $15 my gas was $10 and miscellaneous was zero so if I add all of these up plus 15 plus 10 it means that this week I spent $75.26 cents overall and the actual amount what am I doing for the entire month I can't remember exactly what I did so I did groceries for 140 I knew that one 140 for reference I normally only give myself $60 a week for groceries but I was trying to give myself a little bit more in case I had to restock on some things and plus I'm not dining out at all so if I'm not dining out I might end up needing to spend a bit more money on groceries. So 140 minus $50.26 leaves me for this paycheck with, what was it? Did I do that correctly? No, I didn't do that correctly. This is supposed to be for the entire month, not just the two weeks. So $70 times four, which is 280. Okay, 280 minus $50.26. Nope, <laughs> that's very wrong, you guys. Sorry about that. 70 times four minus 50 26 so yeah that makes more sense two hundred and twenty nine dollars and seventy four cents left over for the rest of the month dining out what did I do I did zero for dining out that's not what I actually ended up doing though I think I ended up giving myself thirty dollars for dining out so technically I have fifteen dollars left over when it comes to dining out because I had budgeted myself thirty dollars for the entire month and then I have $15 left. Gas, I budgeted myself 40, so I still have $30 left in gas. And miscellaneous, I didn't budget myself anything because I am trying to do a low spend. So if I take that 229.74 and I add the $15 left for dining out and the $30 for gas, it means that for the rest of the month, I have $274.74 left. So again, not a ton of money, approximately $90 every week for the rest of the month. And really a lot of that is just, it's genuinely just groceries. So it's, it's genuinely like these videos are not going to be super exciting for the next little while, but I mean, that's what happens when you do a low spend. You don't have a ton of transactions. So yeah. Anyways, that is it for today. Thank you again, you guys so much for tuning in again. My name is Amelia and this is Amelia Budgets. My next video should be up on Friday and that is going to be my January paycheck number two budget setup so again that's my second paycheck in January when I am doing my low spend so anyways I hope you all have an amazing couple days and I will talk to you again on Friday goodbye everyone